if you want the cubic interpolation, so to compare with the answer with the Newton, okay, can, but in the test, okay, follow the instruction of the question. Uh. Question one linear, just do linear. No point you do cubic, wasting your time, okay. But for practice, okay, you, you can, okay, for practice, you can try, okay, linear, quadratic, cubic. Okay, so if cubic, check the answer. Then the L naught total, you should have three terms. Another one is x minus x number two, x minus x number three. So divided x naught minus x two, x naught minus x three. Then this one L naught y naught plus L one y one plus L two y two plus L three y three. So just make sure you key in L naught correctly. Okay, only one term. So you, I can copy this one, control C, multiply. So the x minus k, um, I already have g, g, put it here, f, I need, okay, minus x1 minus x2. So I need one more term. So x1 is e. Multiply. So for Excel, okay, for multiplication, make sure the asterisk there. So the x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3. Okay, and then denominator, you can copy the, the numerator that you have key in, control C. Okay, and denominator, make sure put in bracket. Okay, Excel is only one thing. Be careful the bracket is like the okay the MS calculator because it's not natural display so make sure yeah numerator no no bracket that doesn't matter because multiply multiply they follow okay the precedent multiplication and then once you put divide uh, divide uh, uh, in Excel uh, the divide is a backslash backslash okay if you don't put bracket they will only divide this one. These two will become multiplication. So make sure denominator here, bracket. Okay, you key in the numerator, you select, then you backslash, okay, put a bracket first, and then you paste inside the bracket. Later on, you change the x to x node. That's what I'm going to do. So EF7. So, okay, EF7, okay. You see, you can check the formula by see the selected cell there. Okay, so now denominator, the x value, you change it to x node. The x kit value, you change it to x node. The x value, you change it to x node. Okay. Then now, okay, once you make sure you confirm, okay, the x node formula is correct. EF7, EF7, D7. Okay, one is correct. You can click the tick. Copy it one by one. Copy it. Click back the L1 formula. You will always see one click which is uh, outside of the range. Okay, if you cannot drag, then you see this one H, uh, H7. I mean, this H7, you should, okay, collect. Uh, and this H7, you click back here. Okay, another H7 is here. Select, you click back this one. If you cannot, Click and drag. So you see now, the L1 formula, you cannot minus from X number 1. That's why it's from D, F, G, K. D, F, G. Huh? D, F, G. Huh? So it will be automatically correct. So same thing, you copy it to, from L1, copy it to L2. Okay, if you can drag, click, click the border, click and hold down, drag it. If not, you have to edit the formula. Like what you do in the spreadsheet mono in the uh, the class rate calculator. So okay, once you do it correct from L2, you copy it to L3. I just drag, drag. Okay, the answer here causes not only two term. Uh, anything wrong? Anything wrong already? Okay, in again, equal L naught multiply Y naught plus. L1 multiply 
y1 plus l2 multiply y2 plus l3 multiply y3. Also 35, is it Milton? There's some, something wrong. It, we get is about 25 Newton just now 32. Okay, Newton, okay, what answer do you get? For qubit or Newton? Um, the Newton divided, take up, because Newton will take up all data. Do you get this one? Because it's the answer quite di different, okay? With the cubic interpolation using Lagrange technique. Uh, for the Newton answer is same with doctor. Okay. But the qubit no no same. Uh. Okay, not same. Uh. Let me check. Okay. Uh which one not same? Uh? L L not is it same? Uh no. That L not. L not not same. Let me oh. check. Oh, because 285. Nice. 385. Ah, uh, no 32.26. Uh, so same. Because just now here, given uh 285. So if 285 take inside the list, so 285 will get 25.08 285. So it makes sense, huh? If 285, okay, your values should be between okay 18.4 and 26.2. Okay, let's say I want 105. So 1059.88622. So this is this is 385. So if linear just now, oh linear also this one. 385. 3 K okay, for linear 32.235. Okay, cubic 32.26. Okay, just now 20 20 something because the given value, okay, I I put 285. Okay, so if 285 that's why you see, eh, you, you put 285, you want to estimate 285, 285, but you take the data 300, 400, so it's not okay, accurate there. Lah. So if you 285, you ha have to take 200, 300. Even though you can get the answer, but it's okay, whether it is accurate or not. Okay, oh, we still have some time, we can watch back, okay video.